Hey guys, well, I got a big bowl of shreddies today. <laughs> I like, I put a little share on them, I'm not going to lie. And I like when they go a little soggy. So, how's everyone on Wednesday hump day? I, uh, well, I filmed a little bit <clears throat> yesterday and I was like, hmm, I'm just not in the mood. Mm-mm. Mmm. Shreddies. Mm. So I was so peeved off yesterday. I thought, well, you know, the day before I'm gonna get up and go to the feed store and get the feed and because it's not that far from the, like, from the door to the feed store. Then they put the feed in the car, right? So I thought, I could do that for Bruce. Huh. Not thinking. You drive with your right foot, right? And my right foot has got the gout. Which I inherited from my dad. Thanks, Dad. I just went on Google. I asked Google. What shouldn't you eat when you got the gout? Oh, beer, red meat, ale. I remember my dad when he used to go. We used to have a party or something with the guys from work or go to Toronto for the ball game and he'd come back with the gout. All the time. Oh, it was always when he was on vacation. Look at me, I get the gout for no reason. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby booba. Baby booba, ba ba ba. Hey, hi. <laughs> hey, hi. <laughs> oh, he's got a little bit of a chicken left. If I don't get something. By tomorrow, he's going to be fierce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yesterday, I'm like, I can't drive with this foot. So Bruce had to go. He got up early. Went to the feed store. Come home. Feel it, uh, filled all our cans with uh, the bird seed and the nuts. And then he went to take the chicken feed over to the chicken yard and when he was going in he because of the ice the door the gate don't open very wide he ended up falling and going falling on it <coughs> and he was miserable as can be because he's also working every day almost he didn't really hurt himself he thought he did but he didn't it's just been one thing after another, you guys. What is going on? Well, I got, I can say today's the first day I took a shower and everything. I didn't feel like I had to sit down. So, my anemic is getting, is much better. Yeah. Much better. But my, uh, gout. <laughs> Why? Why? I guess we're getting everything over now for 2022. So we're getting it all done now in the winter time. Um, it's going to be all done and then we'll have traveling. We'll have some, not traveling, camping trips to do. <laughs> but I'm not making any more um, camping trips. I'm not booking anymore because until I find out my appointment for my gynecologist and to see what's going on there with my anemic. Yeah, so. I want to make sure because I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to go camping this year, you better book now. Oh, there's, there's Chickadee. Chick, chick, chick. Hi. Chickity. I also wanted to get a new bird feeder that I didn't get. I asked Bruce to change this one. You know, I mean, uh, did I tell you he's trying to get Friday off? 
if he gets Friday off, then he don't have to work the Saturday. So pray for him. Well, what was I saying? Uh, mm. If you're going camping, you better book your site because when I booked, there wasn't much choices. But also when I book a campsite now, I have to get electric, I have to get, you know, we have to have electricity for my CPAP machine. Uh-huh. You know who, uh, who, you know who wears a CPAP machine? Um, uh, Brenda. Cooking, you know, she cooks on Facebook. She's up in her 70s. She wears a CPAP machine. She said her and her husband had one too. I'm really trying to talk Bruce into going to get checked because he snores. All of a sudden he snores so loud. It's crazy. I don't think so. <laughs> Men are freaking stubborn. Oh, well, you should hear how loud you snore. Remember the days I kept you up all night snoring? Just think it's music to your ears. <laughs> no. I'm getting paid back. Uh-huh. You don't have to be fat to get a seat to get a to get that machine. No. If you're a loud snorer, you need one. Mm-hmm. You're getting it all back, baby. <laughs> I kept him up many nights. Mm-hmm. But I run him runs in our family. I remember my papa snoring. He snored like a freight train coming through. <clears throat> Mm hmm So, yesterday, I said, I'm staying off my foot. If it, will that help? I don't know. It doesn't seem to help that much. So, I told Nate, pull out my cane. I got this cane when I got my hip done. <clears throat> I don't know how you use a cane, right? Do you use it on the side of your sore foot or the other side? I'm sure you guys will help me. You always do. You always know the answer. Half the time I forget it behind me. I just feel... I feel people know... Okay, when you... When you see someone with a cane, you know they're old. <laughs> yes, you are. 56, 57 in a couple weeks. Remember that. <laughs> So, I'm going to get you another, a really nice walking stick. Oh, yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. No. The minute this king can go back in the closet, it it's, go, it's going. It. It's going back in the closet. I don't know. Remember my mom, she always she left. Everywhere we went, she left her cane behind. I don't have, I'd always have to go back and get it at the restaurant, at bingo. <laughs> She says, oh, hell, why do I even need this thing if I leave it everywhere behind? We used to laugh. <clears throat> so, yeah, so, uh, anyways, so I didn't make it to the feed store. I still have a bad sore foot. And, oh, new, Nate, Nate cooked dinner last night, so I got to do the dishes from that. It's not a lot. He cooked a bag of chicken nuggets, James chicken nuggets, and he cooked a bag of fries. <laughs> it was pretty good, actually. I enjoyed it. So we have all this dipping sauce. You know, he always gets chicken nuggets when we go out, so we get the dipping sauce, and then we have it. We keep it in the pantry. Okay, I've yacked enough. i got to get off of here, finish my... Shreddies and start something today. Huh? Yeah. What are we going to make for dinner tonight, you guys? What do we want to make? Give me an idea. Something easy. Well, there's Black Sabbath, teasing Sandy. They, they're not even scared of these dogs anymore. They just sit up in that bird feeder. And have a party. They don't care if Sandy's there. <laughs>
Oh, I hate squirrels! Can you guys see my foot? How it's inflamed? Yeah. This foot's normal. This foot... Gout. It's gotta be gout. Oh, I just want things to turn around, eh, Coco? I want to get out of this house and go shopping! Uh. Okay, you guys, we're just going to do up some of these dishes. Um, pork chops are out for dinner. I said to Bruce, what did I tell you already? I can't remember. Nathan and Bruce both asked me, why is your face all puffy? From my mask last night, I guess. <clears throat> I'm a wreck. Um, I said to Bruce, what do you want for dinner? And he says, I want some pork chops. So I said, okay, take them out. So I thought I better get these dishes done uh, from last night. It's not too many of them. Yeah, and uh, I'm having some chips and dip. I'm going to sit down and read, read all this cane. I'm going to sit down and read my book and have some chips and dip. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so there's not that many of them. I don't think there's too many dishes here. What do you guys think? Huh? I'll take these pork chops out of the sink. Oh, yeah, I was going to water my my house plants. They're dying. I, pour, I gotta water them. Okay, let's get these dishes done and the house plants watered. Yeah. You go sit in your beddy bye. It's not that much of a jump. You can jump up there in your new beddy. Well, it's not new. I just moved it over there for him. Go on. Go sit in your beddy while Mama does dishes. Mama's got to get these dishes done. I don't want to fall behind. No. We don't like to fall behind in our dishes. You go sit in your bed. Zanny, you better be behaving out there. Go sit in your bed. Oh, I gotta figure out, Coco, what I'm gonna do. Um. I'm on the chicken tomorrow. I'm in trouble. Well, I'm going to cook hamburgers tomorrow, so I might have enough. If I can't get out tomorrow, have enough to give them a hamburger and replace of the chicken. Ah, you did it! You're sitting in your bed, Evi. Okay. You rest while Mom does the dishes. Okay, for my house plants, I fill up the jug and I put a few squirts of plant food in the jug. And that's all I do. I water them whenever I remember. And, uh, llamas are in front, of, in front of a sunny window. My plants are happy. Let's go give them a drink. They're dry. Dryer, uh, I can't even explain how dry they are. They are so dry. Okay, there's our cactuses. Give them a little drink. I just give them a good soaking. Because half the time I forget to water my plants. So a good soaking does them good. This wild thing here, I don't know. Sometimes I want to get rid of it. It's so wild. And this is my plant. Remember guys, when I got this little plant, it was so little. And we named it Eve after my friend. It's just been growing. I gotta remember to when I get, when I get out to get some uh, plant, some house plant dirt in a new uh, container for it. It's, it's just overgrown in there. Yeah, so. I'm going to have to move this back a bit so when I water this, it falls in there. I told Bruce when he's out, he always looks in garbages. I said, see if you can find me a plant stand 
for uh I need one another plant stand too but he found this one <laughs> yeah I'm gonna put the uh prayer plant on that oh these plants they're so mad they're so dry oh jeez Michelle I watered these but I'm kind of over these I don't know I want some nice hanging baskets right here and uh I think with spring coming there's going to be a few nice house plants out right now. So I might switch these up for hanging baskets. Some kind of house plant. Yeah, these are, what do you call those things where you never have to water them? Uh, they just bore me. They really do. You see this thing right here? What do you call these things? They're out right now. So you know spring's coming. Let me tell you about my story last night. I'm going to kill it. But let me, remind me to tell you what happened to me last night. Okay, we got to water our eight foot <laughs> cactus. Whoops. That, uh, yeah, me and Nate bring home when he was like five or six. It was like 99 cents and it had one little cactus, cactus stick like that. Yeah, look at it now. Our 99 cent cactus. Yeah. I'm going to go water that in those little plants in there too. Okay. We got those dishes done. I got trays, two trays I got to wash. When we get our air fryer, we won't have to wash trays. No, because we'll be cooking chicken nuggets and french fries in the air fryer. Yeah. So, oh, everybody always asks, what kind of chips are you eating? I'm trying to eat these. I'm not very impressed with them. I don't really like them that much, you guys. You know that? Uh, what? Oh, there. Okay. I might read. I'm having a ginger ale. But I could really think I could really go for a Coke Zero. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get out of the house, though. Mm -hmm. um, Bruce went to my P.O. box before he went to work. I says, I gotta get there. They they can send things back. I hope I didn't, I hope, I hope, I hope nothing got sent back. The girls know me in there, so I'm hoping not. <clears throat> so he went there before he went to work. I gotta, I'll call him later and see if he got anything there, because I got a few emails. Yeah, so. ketchup not my favorite right now someone's walking by yeah but I gotta eat them I've had these over over two weeks do you believe a bag of chips lasted over two weeks in our house I gotta get some mascara, eyeliner, a face wash, and face cream. I find that Nivea cream is too heavy on my face. It's good at night when you go to bed, but not in the morning. You want a nice, soft face cream. I also want to pick up some dirt, right? Houseplant dirt. Mm. When we get to go out, we're going to be tired. <laughs> I'm also going to pick up a couple camping things. A little thing to wash our dishes in. I need that. House plant, dirt, pot. Um, camping things. Oh, I can't wait to get out of this house. Blow the old stink off me. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, so. My plan is to sit here and relax a bit.
read my book and have a few chips and dip. Not my favorite. And uh, then we got to get in the kitchen cooking those pork chops. What? How should we cook them? I mean, I'm going to cook them in my cast iron for sure. Yeah. We'll be back. Okay, guys. A couple pork chops we're going to do up for uh, dinner tonight. This big one can be Bruce's and the smaller one can be mine. Yeah, I'm just going to spice them up with all the spices I want. Salt, pepper, onion, you know the drill. Then we're going to get them in the cast iron pan. Okay, got the pork chops going. Got to pick out what we're going to have with it. Some noodles. What do you guys think? Some noodles. I like corn with my pork chop. We'll see. Let me see. Okay, so I found this. I'm going to do two packages. Cheddar Chipotle noodles. So in case we have some left over we can, for lunch or whatever. And I'm going to do a can of cream corn. That'll be our sides. Now I'm going to fancy up those pork chops in a minute. Just took them off the heat for a few minutes. Okay, so I was going to do something with marmalade in the in the pork chops, but I'm not. I'm just going to use some uh, this gourmet Diana sauce I had in the fridge for ribs and chicken. I'm going to slather this all over the pork chops, and then I'm going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, you guys, we have dinner finally. Okay, I have pork chop on. Um, Lipped those noodles and I have cream corn. Now, who don't like to have their um, cream corn all over the place? Me, I, I like it all over. So, I didn't want to do it while I was carrying it in because I thought I might spill it, you know. Who's hungry, you guys? Oh, me. Mm hmm. Okay, I gotta have a, a taste of this pork chop first. And those are Chipotle noodles. Some people don't like the fat on their meat. I love it. Mm-hmm. Bruce cuts it off. I eat it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mmm. I love creamy corn all spread. Mm-hmm. Oh, we had a good day. I know it's boring being home, but it was a good day. So I was like, I, I've got to tell them about my bug last night. So yesterday I'm sitting here. This has a pillowcase. I'm washing. I'm washing my my bedding. Well, it's actually in the dryer now. Uh, I hope by tomorrow I can get my uh, my uh, quilt back on the bed of the moose. It's no use doing it now because it's like later anyways um I'm sitting here with my arm on like this relaxing Nate's talking to me he's like there's a bug on your pillow I'm like what there's a bug on your pillow ha <laughs> ha he's laughing at me I'm like get it kill it and um, he's like ha 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 I'm like Please, kill it. Please. And he's laughing at me. So I seen it come up here. 
I think it was a stink bug. You know those stink bugs? I think that's what it was. All these things are coming out with the warmer weather, you know? And I'm like freaking. So I started screaming. I'm like, please kill it, please kill it. And he's like laughing at me. So I just grabbed the Kleenex and I squished it. I squished it. And I was like, how dare you? <laughs> I was just joking, but oh my God. That's the third bug I seen. Mm -hmm. We get like that out in country here. As soon as it starts warming up, they come out everywhere. Spiders and I don't know what those things are called. Those other things I had on the window this morning, but <clears throat> I had one of them on me. Right on my shoulder here. Of all places. In the bathroom. I'm sitting there, you know, peeing. I and I feel this little thing. I thought that can't be a spider or bug. It's too too cold. And I look and there's it's right here. I freaking grabbed it and I wheeled it in the bathtub. And after I was done peeling uh, peeing peeling <laughs> I uh I got some toilet paper and I clean I killed it. But like, come on, you guys, what's going on? Bugs. Well, it's February, the end of February, yeah. Next, I'll be seeing ants. Mm hmm Yeah. I know ants will be next. They always are. Mm hmm But, uh... Bugs. Ah! Okay, they're having fun. I can, I gotta. I always forget to get a thumbnail. Let me get a thumbnail. This is a nice picture of me. I'll be back. Hold on. Hang on. Okay, I think I got a thumbnail. Halfway decent one, anyways. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat and enjoy my mushy dinner here. I love cream corn. Mm-hmm. Uh, feeling better. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. A little bit out of time. Mm hmm Mmm. That's good dinner. Yeah, so. Um, I'll be back tomorrow if you want to come out hang out with me. I don't even know if we'll get to the stores, but maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I don't even think I can get my shoe on right now. So, we'll see. Just come on along tomorrow and we'll hang out and see what happens. Pray that Bruce gets Friday off. I could get him to take me shopping. He could drive me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, something else I wanted to tell you, but I, I can't remember. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Come on, hang out with Michelle. She's feeling better. Back to her normal self. Love you guys. You know what, guys? Sometimes I'd rather leave the meat over here and just chomp, chomp, chomp on the bone. I love chomping on a good bone rather than eating the meat. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. All you women... Get your mind out of the gutter. Yeah, I know. I tell him, Coco. Tell him. In the gutter. <laughs> <laughs>